It's the first weekend in March, and spring has brought with it a flock of white tents that fall into formation along Tampa's downtown riverfront for the Raymond James Gasparilla Festival of the Arts. For 42 years, artists from all over the country have been drawn to this juried fine art show for its location, its patrons, and almost $75,000 in award money. It takes the entire year for a team of dedicated volunteers to transform the heart of the community into a showcase of artistic talent. We appreciate those volunteers, the juror, the sponsors, and the artists for being such an important part of Tampa's cultural landscape. We're musicians as well as artisans. We write music, perform music, but we also make the instruments. We like coming down to Tampa because it's a pretty artful community. You know? I mean, you see all these people coming to the park, spending money, and having a great time out here in the sun, enjoying downtown Tampa. It's just a great day. It does get to be sort of a tradition when, you, when you're an artist. You kind of look forward to certain shows each, each year. So, uh, and this is definitely, definitely one that I look forward to. I think the arts and the activity around downtown is important, and I support the art community around here to make it happen. The uh, Gasparilla Art Festival is, uh, it has the reputation to be one of the finest festivals in the country, and that's why artists like myself come from all over the country here to uh, participate in this event. We're, we all have a common goal, and that is to support um, the artists who come to the festival. Um, to give everyone uh, an opportunity to come out, enjoy the beautiful Curtis Dixon Park, look at art, listen to music, eat good food, and uh, just enjoy the city. They put on a really good festival, and um, yeah, it's just fun to, fun to be here. Great art, it's one of the best art shows, uh, quality-wise, in the country, for sure. I think that that's something that can connect to all people, whether they uh, realize it or not. Once they see art, there's often things that uh, that will touch them in, in ways that they may have never known otherwise. It's very pretty with the uh, river in the front, the breeze, and uh, the quality of the art, which is wonderful. And I hope to have a good show. I, I think everyone's uh, arrived happy. Everyone's uh, sales were up, attendance was up, and uh, I think we had a great year. Uh, I think the artists are going to be leaving very happy. There's, there's always a good crowd. People really appreciate the artwork here and they, I've always had a good response to my work. So uh, anywhere I'm appreciated, I, I usually like to return to over and over. One of the great things about our organization is that we're always trying to find new things to do to help promote the artists. And it's just always exciting to see some of the programs that we come up with, like the gallery. This great, prestigious art event where the artists can come and celebrate the award winners, sell their work. This is a, at least my third or fourth time at Gasparilla in a row, and I've been here before, and it's a good show. It's always been a good show for me, so I'm glad to be back in Tampa. As we continue to grow, I think that's, that's a big draw for anybody that's interested in the art festival, to know that there's really good people behind this that are, are passionate about whatever piece of the pie they have. 